Greywick Court. Hello Willow, Birch and Maple class. Hope you're all well. This is Mrs Vaughan here bringing you some Friday mindfulness. Okay. The big questions. What is mindfulness? Anybody know what that is? Have you heard of that before? Is it easy or difficult to pay attention? I know sometimes we do find it hard to pay attention, we can be distracted by anything, it can happen to all of us. But what happens when we do not pay attention? Maybe you could share your thoughts with your class or your friends or your family. Today we're going to be exploring a new subject. This subject is called mindfulness. We are going to use mindfulness to help us understand how we are feeling and how we can help ourselves be more settled and calm. Understanding how we are feeling and how this can affect our behaviour is very important. It can help us feel more calm and settled. It can also help us manage and live with our more difficult emotions such as feeling stressed, feeling anxious, feeling sad, feeling angry. There are no good or bad feelings. Feeling this way from time to time is perfectly okay. There is nothing to be afraid of or ashamed of in feeling stressed, anxious, sad or angry. Everyone experiences these emotions. Friends, family, parents and even teachers. These feelings are often labelled as bad. There is no such thing as a bad feeling or emotion. Worries we have tend to come from our reaction to the emotional feeling. If we do not understand these emotions and how they can affect us, they can affect our mood and our mental health. Sometimes our more challenging emotions can take over our life and we can find ourselves feeling very sad and unhappy. Mindfulness teaches us to be aware of and understand our emotions. By practicing mindfulness when we're experiencing challenging emotions, it can help us to let them go. This helps us to be more happy and content. So the mind is naturally scattered. That's just how our mind works. Things go on all over the place. You can have one thought and suddenly another thought. Learning to focus the mind can help us to settle and feel calm. This can help us to better understand our feelings and emotions. And it can help us not get so distracted by our thoughts. Practicing mindfulness can have a positive impact on how we feel and on our mental health. So over time, this can affect our mood, our behavior and our mental health. Learning to settle the scattered mind is a key part of learning to be calmer and happier. And through mindful meditation practices, we could train our mind to be more calm. Thought clouds. So, practicing mindfulness can be difficult. Sometimes, no matter how hard we try to settle the mind, we keep getting caught up in our thoughts. Instead of just noticing that we are thinking, our mind takes over, and before we know it, we are stuck in a whirlwind of thoughts about all kinds of things. Thoughts become more thoughts, and they become more thoughts, and soon we can feel like all we have are thoughts. So to help us be more mindful, we can use the thought clouds to help us recognize and let go of thoughts. And you can use this strategy at any time you want if you're feeling like there's too much going on. This is a very important part of being mindful. We are not ignoring our thoughts, but we are not being carried away by them either. So, just stop for a few moments. Set aside five minutes to stop and sit, stand or lay still. Close your eyes if this helps. Now, just focus on your breathing. Feel the sensations of breathing. Each time you notice a thought, say to yourself, either out loud or silently in your head, I am thinking. Open your eyes and then write the thought on one of the clouds. Look at that thought for a few moments and then let it go. You can even gently move the card away from you or you can drop it. Now go back to focusing on breathing. 
And each time you notice a thought, say to yourself, I am thinking. Open your eyes and write that thought on one of the clouds. Look at the thought for a few moments and then let it go. Keep doing this for a few minutes before opening your eyes and keeping back to your day. Take a moment to think about your answers to these questions. What did you notice when you were breathing in and breathing out with your eyes closed and your mind wandering? Did your mind wander or was you focused on one thing? What happened to your thoughts when you labeled them and pushed them away? And if you're happy to, you can share your answers with the class or your teachers or just your friends or just your family.